doing? How you guys doing? I've got some updates. Um, first off, first things first. This gum. See it? That stuff. Woo see it, see it. Ooh, you gotta get some. I like you look. It's wonderful. It's like a milk bone. Well, for me, it keeps me busy. I love this stuff. It smells really good too. I love it. And yes, um, today is the 21st. Well, whenever you guys watch this, it'll be tonight, hopefully. Um, once YouTube uploads it. But, uh, I'd like to address that I just got over my period, so I'm, like, just alive! Kind of thing, you know? Like, uh, oh my goodness. But, um, sorry, I have an itch. Like, not there, further down. Because somebody decided to, I need a trim job, so I'm missing body hair. <laughs> like, I have more body hair here than pretty much everywhere else right now, except for my armpits. But not that you guys need to know that. But no, hello. Anyway, so I gotta get this out of the way. I was weed whacking the other day, you know, doing like you know stuff outside like a normal person does this time of year. Yes, my hands are just all over the place because I'm still showing this ring off. <sighs> this is still slightly damp. In fact, there's a little bit of grass on it. So how the heck to get grass on it? Anyway, see this? This I think you guys have seen. It. It's my Cape Cod hoodie. I wear it all the time because I don't know. I like it, and I go to Cape Cod, and I. Yeah, is that paint? I don't. Know. Anyway, this was subject to an accident. I'm weed whacking. With a really neat weed whacker, and I'm like walking along with my, you know. Have my um trusty, oh yeah, this is cute. This is my uh, MP3 player, nice and purple. And I already broke the little hingy thing that goes back here. Yeah, it totally snapped off. See now it's down to the spring, which catches on everything, and I gotta take that off now. But anyway, I have my earbuds in. You know, I'm kind of like bebopping along with my earbuds in. Get it? Okay. And I'm like going, and all of a sudden I hit grass. It was like about I want to say that high. It was like a corner kind of thing. And I hit it and it shot grass. And then I felt this stuff. I felt something. It wasn't. And I thought it was grass for like that long. It realized something wasn't right. Here, a dog decided to take the dump of the month right where my weed whacker was. Well, I mean, it was already there before I got to it. This was assaulted, <clears throat> slash, peppered. With fresh dog crap. Like, it was disgusting. Like, it peppered this, it peppered my sunglasses, it got into, like, the bill of, not this hat, but the bill in here. Isn't that cute? Paul Mitchell would not be pleased. But anyway, I got, just, it hit, it, I felt it spray me. I don't know what it is with me and getting, like, ugh, it was disgusting. And I had to wash it. Because I wasn't going to wear it. Oh, I just sprayed crap all over my mouth. It was disgusting. But that was that. So. See my Cape Cod hoodie. I like my Cape Cod hoodie. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it's out of here. Okay. Another thing is I got pulled over again. <laughs> By the popo. Guess what I did? I had to feed our gecko. No, he's not from Geico. He did not save us 15% of our own car insurance. In fact, he's quite the beast that eats. I mean, he, he has an appetite. A big one. So I go stop at the pet store and I get crickets. Like I do like every three days now, or four days. I think three days, something like that. Um, yeah, he... <laughs> I got these crickets. It was on a Friday afternoon. I put them in the car. Driving home from the mono, your hands at 10 and 2 here. Okay, fine, more like at 5.30. I, I drive like two, three fingers right here. That's how I do it. Anyway, moving on. That's not the point. I'm driving through, through town, a well, little village of a town that I had to go through, and this cop gets right behind me all of a sudden. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I drive along like two miles. He's still right there. I'm like, okay, go past another intersection. He's still there. He's like right on my butt. I change lanes. He changed. I'm like, Something's up. I'm like, it's sunny out like it is right now. It's sunny. You know, the sun's shining. There's my 
I don't know what he could, you know, nothing's, my registration's, everything's fine. I don't know what the heck's going on. And I'm like, what is the deal? Well, I go through another intersection, another intersection, meaning red lights. I hit, like, four or five red lights. And I'm still got this cop behind me. I'm like, you know, I'm going to pull in the sheets here and just hopefully lose him. He pulled in right behind me. I'm like, what's going on? I pull into a parking spot. He blocks me in. I went, something's not jiving right. He walks up and goes, and he looks at me. I, I said, can I help you? He goes, let me see the bag. I went, what bag? I'm thinking like a Walmart bag or something. He goes, that baggy. I went, this. I picked up, it's a bag that people at the pet store put the crickets in. And they tie it tight and have like an air, it's like a big air pocket with the crickets in it. And I went, these. And he went, what is? I'm like, they're crickets. And he went, they're what? I went, crickets. They're for my lizard. I had to go to the pet store and get them on the way home and I have crickets. And he went, I thought that was pot. And I went, no, they're crickets. They're very much alive. They're bouncing in this, like, they're hopping around. Like, they're not sitting still. I'm like, well, look, seriously. And he's like, oh, he says, I owe you an apology. I went, okay. He goes, I was sitting in the intersection. I saw you pick up the bag. He said, I was I caught right behind you. I didn't think anything of it. He goes, until I noticed you holding this bag up, and because the crickets were on the corner. He said, you were kind of shaking around. looked like you were inspecting it. I went, well, I was looking at him because I said, we pay a buck for a dozen crickets, and they usually give me like 15 crickets. They always give me extra because I always buy crickets all of them. I'm like, I was just counting the crickets while waiting for the light to turn green. I wasn't even on my phone or anything. Like, I'm holding a bag. Like, it'd be like holding this remote control, just like looking at the tip of it, just trying to count the crickets. And he goes, I thought, I thought, oh, here's Friday night. Young guy here. He's got his shades on. He's heading out to have a good time. He's got some weed. He's, I'm like, no. I, no, they're crickets. He shook my hand, and he apologized. I said, well, I said, yeah, I could figure out why you were right on my tail the whole time. Like, I wasn't doing anything. He goes, yeah, you weren't doing anything. I'm like, okay, so there you go. Got pulled over again. I swear, I, I don't get it. I, I swear there's a bumper sticker, unbeknownst to me, on the back of my car that says, to any cop that is bored, please follow me. It's like, really? And I come home and I'm like, hey, guess what happened? And of course, just like it's just as the cop walks away, I get a phone call. Where are you at? I'm like, I'm trying to get out of Sheets Park and I got pulled over. Why? I'm like, because the crickets. I mean, seriously, who, who does that happen to? Me. <laughs> crickets. So, now we're going to move on to Another little thing that happened. I don't have a green thumb. I thought I did. I, I don't. I don't. I don't have a. I don't have one. I'm not so sure that I ever did. Now, I can keep a potted plant alive inside for. Like well, I have a so, sort of a green thumb. Sure. Right. But we're trying to grow vegetables. And for some reason, it is such a pain in the rear to get stuff to grow. Like, we're killing stuff. Well, it also doesn't help when you have your pot, those trays, those long things that go on like a railing. And a strong gust of wind from a storm front comes through. And it knocks it over, and you got to put a flower. Like I planted bulbs this year. I planted more stuff this year I think I ever have in my life, and very few things are coming up. Heck, I put a thing on my Facebook about um, I started one of them like those sort of jiffy feeder things that has a little plastic greenhouse lid that goes on. I put water in it like I'm supposed to, and in four days I had mold, like little balls of mold. So I'm like, what happened? Apparently, I should have paid attention to what my grandfather used. He used to watch the Big Big Garden on Channel 3 when I was younger. He loved that garden. He was great at it. He could grow all kinds of stuff. Which brings me to a point. Here, you want to see what I found? These are dandelions. Ain't they cool? They're long. 
I believe they're about three feet from the part where it comes out of the dirt to here. In fact, I should probably measure them. Why am I measuring them? One second. Ooh, see? Now here's the thing. The longest one is basically almost dead, but we're going to measure that one. Like right now. Let me see here. Where do you begin at? Alright, we're going to take it from there. Pull away. Up to that one. This half limp one is 32 inches long. So that tells you. Yeah, these are some stout. Some of them are stout. They're starting to lose their thing. But anyway, I had to show these to you guys. I found these really tall dandelions. And I'm going to actually plant them intentionally in a flower pot and give it all the miracle grow the world to see what happens because I'm bored. <laughs> I can't wait. I know, it's little things that amuse me, right? But yeah, I thought you could kick out these dandelions. Wow! Puffy, puffy, woo! Anyway, okay. Moving on. <gasps> Stuff's dropping off of them. I'll be right back. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna go do something tonight. I have to do something. I need to like work off some energy. So I just wanted to tell you guys know this little update for the time, and we're still working on a wedding. And yes, as of yesterday, which would have been uh, May 20th, Pennsylvania signed they overturned the thing banning gay marriage. So now it's legal. You can actually get married in Pennsylvania now. Now you, of course, someone's gonna have an opinion. And it's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, and it's probably going to be like California, you know, one week we're legal, one week we're illegal, one week we're legal, next year we're illegal. So anyway, but, um, yeah, so that's a good plus for us, but I, but yeah, I haven't put a video out, so I have to put one out here, so anyway, yay. So, and yeah, I've been mowing a lot, so I'm getting kind of like, you know, my arms are kind of there. Anyway. All right, peeps. Any questions, comments, suggestions, whatnot, bring the questions in because I got another Q and A I gotta do here soon. So but meantime, I'm gonna go plant some dandelions. Even though I hate dandelions. I just wanna see how big they get. Anyway, alright guys, be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. If you can't be good at it, have fun. Try it. Hi. <laughs> alright. Instead of ending how I normally do, I'm doing something different. I'm going to use a different appendage. That didn't sound right. Let me demonstrate. Yum. Oh, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't. Yeah. Bye.